Good morning, folks. It's a blast from start to finish today, so keep your eyes and ears open. We've got news about every which way we stare, but we're going to begin, as always, with our star over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find, shockingly, another calm day on the sun. No solar flares and not even any relevant sunspots, and the solar wind is even calming down towards normal range here at Earth. Instability reverberations persist, but all in all, we're in the safe zone. Quickly jumping to the North Pacific where the ground couldn't stop yesterday. Bogoslav erupted and numerous smaller earthquakes led to a blood echo over magnitude 5 as focus shifts towards Kamchatka and actually up and down that entire longitude if we're talking about atmospheric energy. We're quickly hitting our top stories beginning with the furthest detected oxygen in the history of the human race. ALMA spotted this galaxy about as far away as it can look and they say that the brilliant dust envelope is the result of tons of supernova within the galaxy blasting the dust into beautiful shapes and figures and a general position external to the galactic engine. Got a spectacular piece out on Ceres. While they say Akatur Crater is 35 million years old, the bright central feature is only 4 million years old. Basically nothing in astronomical time. You also have the February U.S. climate update linked for you below. No question it was a warm one outside of the northwest. Wasn't really the case on the other side of the planet, but it is the U.S. report out today. Now in case you missed it after the news yesterday, I was swiftly and definitively overruled by the person who is really in charge over here. Let's quickly peek in on that two-minute update posted after the news. Hey folks, Kat watched the morning news and shot me a look that told me I needed to make a change. She says it isn't fair to just all of a sudden sell out and tell you it's the last day to register for the conference and then we're done. But since we've sold out twice already, moved to bigger rooms, and we're now in the ballroom they use for weddings, there's nowhere else to go. We can give you until the weekend, but we have to submit our numbers soon and the hotel's going to sell out rooms by then anyway. Folks, as Billy, our lab director, adequately put it, this is an event that one might regret missing forever. It is no secret Billy has carried a broken neck and back through his work in the lab and his time in there is coming to an end, let alone his ability to travel. With my second child here, I can tell you it is readily apparent we won't be planning another conference for years, maybe ever. For those interested in electric universe theories, the live interview I'm going to conduct with Dave Talbot is going to set the tone for the entire future of the EU science. He is usually too busy dazzling us with his research, but I'm going to ask him the hard questions we all know need to be asked. Dr. Robitaille has grandchildren he's looking forward to spending more time with. Dr. Dunning is my first pick to go to Mars, so perhaps he'll have good reason to depart as well. It is utterly humbling that what might overshadow everything else is the beginning of a directive to predict earthquakes. That weekend, with King Jupiter at our back, we will deliver a step-by-step -step method for earthquake forecasting, and over the following weeks to months, to the rest of the world and hope that all of you will participate or share the science with someone you believe in, someone who should be an observer. Saturday is March 11th, the six-year anniversary of the day my wife and I woke up. Makes my stomach turn a bit, but that will be the last day we can accept online registration for observing the frontier. I don't plan on leaving anything behind. Biggest swing I got. Don't forget to watch this morning's news, best lightning shots of the young 2017 so far. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Well, I hope you're still watching because your forecasting tools have been activated by 9 Rese over at QuakeWatch.net. New look, new features, and a new day of earthquake forecasting. We've got pressure and radar forecast, a global water and temperature run, and shots of our star to close. QuakeWatch.net, everyone. Things are about to change forever. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.